Welcome to our lecture online. If you liked part one in the previous video, you will like part two as well. Here we have a spring gun. We compress the bullet into the barrel. This is a one sixth of a foot, which is two inches. The spring constant is 36 pounds per foot. The friction force inside the barrel is 2.25 pounds and the weight of the bullet is 0.02 pounds. Now what we're trying to do is find an equation that gives us the kinetic energy of the bullet as a function of position. We're trying to find the location where the velocity will be a maximum of the bullet and then we want to find out what that maximum velocity is. So the assumption is that as the spring is compressed a lot, the force will push the bullet forward, but because the friction force at some point, the friction force will become greater than the force applied by the spring and the bullet will begin to slow down before it leaves the barrel. We already know that with the friction force, the speed at which it leaves the barrel is 20 feet per second. So the assumption would be that the bullet will travel faster than that somewhere between the starting point and the point where the bullet leaves the barrel. So starting with the energy equation, let's go ahead and try to find an equation for the kinetic energy as a function of x. So that would be this quantity right here that we're interested in finding. And so the amount of work put into the system is zero plus the initial kinetic energy would be one half kx squared, but that would be kx initial squared. So let's call it x initial. That's a known quantity squared plus zero for the initial kinetic energy because nothing is moving. Potential energy final would be whatever position we're in. So from zero to x, it would be one half kx squared. That is not a constant, that's a variable. That's the x in our equation, plus the kinetic energy final, we'll say kinetic energy final, plus energy loss, which would be the friction force times the distance already traveled. So the amount of distance traveled, uh, that would be from zero to x. Well, let's see here, from zero to x, that would be one sixth minus x. So one sixth minus x, let's see if that makes sense. When x is equal to zero, we've traveled one sixth of a foot. When x equals one sixth, then we've traveled no distance. So this is correct. All right, so we're trying to solve for kinetic energy final. So we're going to plug in some numbers and see what that is equal to. So first of all, we get one half times k, k is 36, times x up naught, which is one sixth squared. That equals one half times k, which is 36, times x squared. Okay. Then we have plus kinetic energy final, which is what we're looking for and then plus the friction force, which is 2.25 times 1 sixth minus x. It looks like we are going to come up with some sort of quadratic equation. All right, simplifying that, we get 36 divided by 36 times 1 half, which is 0 0.5 is equal to 18x squared plus kinetic energy final plus 2.25 divided by 6. 2.25 divided by uh, 6 equals 0 0.375 minus 2.25x. Okay, moving this to the other side, we get 0 0.125 is equal to 18x squared plus kinetic energy final minus 2.25x. And now we can write everything over to one side and set equal to kinetic energy. Kinetic energy final is equal to minus 18x squared plus 2.25x plus 0.125. And this is the equation we we're looking for. This is the kinetic energy final of the bullet as a function of x. So that's part C. Part D, we're trying to find the location where we have the maximum velocity, which would also be the maximum kinetic energy. 
And to find the maximum kinetic energy, we're going to take the derivative of that and set it equal to zero. So for part D, we take kinetic energy prime, or kin D kinetic energy dx, if you want to write it like that, D kinetic energy dx is equal to the derivative of that, which is minus 36x plus 2.25, and we're going to set that equal to zero to find the maximum kinetic energy, the position for the maximum kinetic energy. So we have minus 36x plus 2.25, which is equal to zero. So we have 36x equals 2.25, or x is equal to 2.25 divided by 36, which is equal to 2.25 divided by 36, which is 0 0.625. Zero point zero six two five feet. So that will be the position where velocity will be max because the kinetic energy will be a max. And finally, we need to find out what that is. So first of all, kinetic energy when x is equal to zero point zero six two five is equal to minus 18 times 0 0.0625 squared plus 2.25 times 0 0.0625 plus 0 0.125. So that will be the kinetic energy hmm, in, well, it's not going to be joules because we're dealing with... Um, with British units, it'll be in foot-pounds. That will be the units. All right. So let's figure out what this is equal to. So this, we take that squared times 18 minus equals plus 2.25 times 0 0.0625 plus 0 0.125 equals. And so we have a kinetic energy of equal to 0 0.1953 foot-pounds. Finally, we can find the velocity because we know that kinetic energy is equal to one-half mv squared, so v is equal to the square root of two times the kinetic energy divided by the mass, which is equal to the square root of two times the kinetic energy, which is 0 0.1953 divided by the mass, so we take the mass will be 0 0.02 times, or divided by g, or times 32. There we go. Okay, so 2 divided by 0 0.02 is 100, so this multiply times 100, times 32, and take the square root of that, and it turns out that at that point, the velocity max inside the barrel will occur at that particular Take a location, x equals this, which would be 25 feet per second. So that means that the bullet speeds up from 0 to 25 and then slows down to 20 by the time it leaves the barrel. And that is how that's done.